I'm being joined right now by Manish Beriar, who's a BJP leader. I'm also going to be joined in a short while from now by Adil Singh Boparai, who is a Congress spokesperson, as well as Arka Kumar Nag, who joins us right now. He is a lawyer as well as political analyst. Thank you very much, all three of you, for joining us. Manish Bariyar, I'm assuming you've heard what Abhishek Manu Singh B has said. He's talking about quid pro quo. He's talking about money that BJP has encashed, which were very closely linked to companies that were raided. He's also saying it's not about the quantum of money that BJP has got, a huge margin when you look at what Congress or other opposition leaders have got. He's saying the very unholy nexus between who's encashed and a ruling party where raids and quid pro quo have been, have, have, have now begun to emerge, also using the word institutional corruption. So good evening to you and uh, good evening to all the viewers. Uh, let me just remind you, uh, the system before this electoral bonds uh, had come, at that time, uh, political parties and especially led by Congress used to take 20,000 rupees and thousands and lakhs of people could actually donate uh, 20,000 rupees and you could break that. And that was the real institutional corruption. Uh, this is very important for your viewers to know. So there was no transparency. There was no accountability at that time. While if you look at the top leadership of BJP, and everyone does agree that that was a very, very, uh, you know, very bad system. And from there, we have now come to a very imperfect system. It's not a great system. But then we all understand that political donations are a part of it. And uh, Mr. Singhvi, uh, uh, you know, uh, accepts the fact that Congress Party has taken. If Congress Party really is so concerned about it, one, they should definitely disclose without putting any precondition. That means he's not very honest about really, you know, putting those names uh, in front of the people. And second, they should have returned these money immediately. Can you please ask someone from Congress Party, are they willing to return this money to, to their donors? Right. And uh, he's jumping the gun. I was hearing him. Everything is all by association. And I think it is very unfortunate. The entire details have not come. The entire thing is subjudice. And, and, and through that, uh, you know, it is just maligning the government in, in, in a particular way. So I, I do not, you know, I reject all his claims uh, because uh, those claims are, do not have any basis on it. And once the entire data comes in and the association comes in, then only one can really talk about whether what has happened has happened or not. So this is, uh, uh, you know, this is very unfair kind of a statement to make. And there's a lot of bravado in that. Reason being, uh, we all understand that globally, uh, political donations are a part of it. And this system at least ensured that there was some level of transparency to the entire system. No, but that's the whole point. Even Congress is saying the transparency was a sham. And in fact, the fact that the, the Supreme Court eventually went down to strike it down as unconstitutional, isn't that how it's supposed to be seen? It can't be taken under the garb of uh, at least it had some sense of transparency. But that being one point, uh, let me also just ask you one quick question. What's the counter to what the Congress is saying that, hey, listen, all of this that is happening in terms of the quantum that BJP is, is, has received is not the quantum really, but it's the quid pro quo. It's what seems to be benefits that have very close links to companies that have been raided. How do you, how do you respond to that? I think these are wild allegations. And I, I think the entire thing is uh, subjudice. So it, it is very unfair to really, you know, uh, comment on that. But at best, I would say these are wild allegations. And one can uh, put similar kind of allegations on them. You yourself said that, uh, you know, in 2023, before the elections, Congress party, and he just brushed it off, Mr. Manushanvi, that yes, People need uh, okay. uh, you know, election time and the right. money was there. So I, I, I think it is similar kind of a thing. I can argue okay. that, yes, uh, you know, Chhattisgarh, there were a lot of donations to Congress party. Okay, let me just get in Arka Kumar Nag for there. his introductory remarks. Arka Kumar Nag, how do you look at what the response of the Congress has been, what the response of the BJP has been? Mani, uh, uh, Abhishek Manu Singh, we saying that if the BJP goes ahead and discloses, in fact, I have to ask you, uh, the BJP's leader as well this response, if the BJP goes ahead and uh, discloses all of its beneficiaries, they will do so within just a matter of few hours. But first to you, Mr. Arka Kumar Nag. 
Well, firstly, the point what the BJP is saying with regard to the transparency and all does not hold good anymore on the point because the Supreme Court has said this is unconstitutional. Something which is unconstitutional cannot be considered to be, you know, uh, even discussed uh, with the validity at all, uh, say, let alone in the points of transparency or justification. It was unjustified. It, is, it was unconstitutional, something which the highest constitutional court of the greatest democracy has spoken. Secondly, the amount of money which has been taken by BJP or by any other political party, the TMC, the Congress, the BRS, whatever political parties have taken whatever money, the point now is, as of today, as Supreme Court is looking into it, each and every donor and the amount of money taken, uh, donated to the political parties should come to light because that is something where we are, you know, in the age of uh, right to information. This cannot be kept away if transparency is at all uh, to be accorded to. And what Mr. Singhvi said, Dr. Singhvi has rightly pointed out, if we can just find out that who donated what amount of money and what amount of government contracts, which political parties government gave to which uh, of the donors, I believe things Alpha can Kumar be Nath, very easy. How important is this code that was not brought out before the EC or before the court today? How important or crucial is that code at this point? I mean, what's going to change when it does come out in the public domain, say tomorrow or Monday? It, it has to come out in the public domain because, and the importance of it is we will be very sure. Now there are uh, allegations, and I would not like to make blunt allegations on our national media. I would like to say that as there are, you know, people are thinking, yesterday I was in one of the shows uh, where the BJP spokesperson was saying, how do you know that what amount of money BJP has got? There is no allegation and all that. Today we know that 47% has gone to the Bharatiya Janata Party. So now the points are coming out. You know, it is like uh, uh, it is like uh, cutting down an onion. Everything is coming down chilka by chilka. So we have to okay. see. We Ma have to wait, and we have to uh, get to the final straw of transparency under any any possible way. Okay, Manish Bariyar, if I can come back to you with what is being said right now. My question to you, and I asked this the same, I asked the same question to Abhishek Manu Singhvi. I wish I had anybody else from BJP to ask this question as well. But to you, Mr. Manish Bariyar, this is an open dare from the opposition. This is an open dare from the Congress. They are saying, even though there's no official response from them in this, Man Abhishek Manu Singhvi is saying, if transparency and anti-corruption is such a big peg for the BJP, and since they have got such huge shares and there are such allegations of links, why don't they go ahead and be transparent now that it has been struck down for unconstitu unconstitutionality? Why not release the beneficiaries, name them? What is wrong with that? And if BJP does that because they've got alliance share, Congress and the opposition will do so within a matter of two to five hours. How do you respond to this? No, no. Uh, you know, first he had to uh, really, you know, uh, answer the question that why the party has not done it earlier? Why take this, uh, you know, stand now? Uh, electoral bond issue has been there for last four, five years, six years, as Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi was uh, saying. You know, in 2019, he was saying, why did Congress accept these electoral bonds no, in the no, first place? But Mr. Barrier, uh, it, it had legal important. sanctity till it was struck down as unconstitutional so, so by the court. At that time, so, uh, you know, the, the whole point is that if he really... Now it is, it is unconstitutional, said, everything is out. They are saying, since you've got the lion's now. share, bring it but out. The, the, the point is that if he feels like... So that means there is a change of heart after the Supreme Court has told. So before that, Congress party never felt that it was anything wrong in taking these electoral bonds. So that is the main question. Right. And, and, you know, he's just trying to, uh, uh, you know, move the entire question into a different direction. Now, I've told you earlier that this entire thing is sub -judice and the names are going to come. So there is, there should not be any uh, doubt over it that these, uh, you know, once this data All comes right, up. All right, we're totally out of time. Manish Bariyar, as well as Arka Kumar Nag, thank you very much. Thank you both of you for joining us, bringing in your perspectives. perspectives. And as Manish Bariyar says, names are going to come out. They certainly are going to come out particularly as the number codes are going to be listed in public domain. This is something that the nation is for sure following very, very closely. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining us. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in.